Now getting into the most excited part, it's the birds. So it's its first kind of application. So in transformer application in natural language processing, there is the BERT and the GBT. This this model is, is, is taking the whole area of study. These models has uh, getting very high accuracy and, and this model is, is very, very important to know. Uh, firstly, let's, let's know the name. The name of the BERT is a bidirectional encoder representation from transformer. So it is actually just taking the encoder part multiple encoders stack it together just this we are going to take just this because it will give us a representation it will give us a word in bending it's a way that we get a very rich featured contextual aware and direction aware uh, from the inputted data so we are going to take only the encoder there is no decoder part let's get back so this part is the first deep uh, implementation for bidirectional uh, learning, and it's it's uh, unsupervised uh, language representation. It's been trained on Wikipedia, and the the paper is by Google AI Language in 2018. Uh, this is the name of the paper. If you want to read it, now the first thing that. Uh, um, the, the transformer itself, it can consider the bidirectional or a non-directional because we are giving, as we, we described earlier, we will give the full sentence. So, so the model can see and learn from both direction. We are not having any sequential. So in the old way, if you, if you work with the LSTM, the model has to learn either right to left or left to right. It has to know the direction. Now this, there is, because we are going to, to, get, to feed the word by direction, we're going to give how are you, one by one. Now in, in the transformer, we're giving the full sentence. And because of this, the model will learn, uh, will see the sentence, will learn uh, at once from both direction. And it's, it's, it's not a problem for it to learning bi-directional relationship. So if the transformer is already bi-directional, What's bird class? Okay, good question, and we will answer it. Firstly, why bidirectional is matter? This is a very important because if you're working with the NLB task, the, the most part you are going to do is to make some more than bending for your data and, and fit it to model. And this word and bending will be very helpful to you to give a good feature to the model and good, uh, give, uh, give a good representation. In, in, in a pre-trained representation, there is two kinds. The context-free, which is looking just at the word itself. So let's say that you're working with a word of X or a glove. Uh, you should know it if you work on a natural language processing. Now, when you do word and bending, this representation, this context-free, uh, when it's look at the word bank, will generate a representation of the word bank uh, identical wherever it is. So if we give a bank account and bank of river, uh, the bank will have the same representation in both because this is context free. This is looking at the word isolated from its surrounding. Now, uh, there came that the, the contextual, which is either unidirectional or bidirectional. And any implementation has been done uh, 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 before BERT. There is no one has implemented by the directional except BERT and other kind of model that and version that came after it. So before BERT, there is no bidirectional representation. Now, contextual that when the generating representation that when we Taking this, I exceed the bank account in unidirectional. The bank based on I exceed. Oh, so the representation here will take the past. That will take the what uh, the, the I the exceed in there, but will not look at the award of uh, account because it's no only uh, it will study from one direction. And in, his, in this example, it's a study, uh, it's from left to right. So the bird gets the representation for bank and both for the account 
the next word and for the previous word the i exceed the so we already said that transformer is a u bidirectional and it can learn this what birth has given us so firstly birth increased the strength of bidirectionality by doing some kind of uh, compilation to the world so it will make some random masking on a specific parts of the sentence and want the model to predict it so uh, let's give the symbol the man went to the and this mask one we don't know what is yet he bought a uh, mask two of milk so the model has to predict this mask one is equal store and mask two equal galoon and this is the first thing strengthening the bidirectionality but actually uh, this kind of task is, is uh, uh, called a uh, closed procedure. And this is, is a very old uh, method, and it's presented uh, very long ago, as you see the, the date for it. But uh, until the bird, no implementation has successfully implemented. And this is what the bird has been come to do. It's using an old method. This is a theoretical, no one have implemented and implemented in real. And as we see it in this input, uh, the, the model learned to make a power and strength by directional aware uh, context vector. And, and this by learning uh, this kind of missing, completing the missing part uh, and guessing the missing word and the masked word. This is the first thing. So the, the bird not just uses a transformer, a pure transformer to, because it is, a bidirectional, but is also increasing the strength of transformer by implementing this method while it's training. Now, it's not just doing this, it's learning much more powerful relationship representation between sentence. So how it is done this, uh, uh, we, we give it uh, a couple of sentences, sentence A, a sentence B, and want it to uh, predict or give a label if this uh, sentence P is the completion or the next uh, sentence for next uh, for sentence A. So let's say sentence A, the man went to the store and it's next, he bought a gallon of milk. Now the model predict this as the next sentence. While in this example, the man went to the store, penguins are flightless. So the model predict it's not the next sentence. And this kind of a training and this kind of thing make the model learn much more powerful relation between the sentences. These two part make BERT very powerful uh, pre-trained uh, bidirectional representation. So uh, BERT in real world, uh, Google search for by BERT. Now Google search has implemented BERT model used in both ranking and feature snippet in its search. When you're searching Google right now, the bird is behind the scenes for you. So they give this example in the blog, and they say that before bird and after bird. If you're looking at the example search word, uh, 2018, uh, 19, Brasilia traveler to USA need a visa. So the two here is very important part uh, because it can flip the meaning. Uh, now, before bird, uh, the, the result showing that U.S. citizen can travel to Brazil, but actually we are searching for the opposite. We are searching for Brazil who want to travel to USA. Now, after implementing BERT, Google shows that the improvement that is give us the accurate, what is searching for, it's give us the best search. So this, this is just by the Google search. BERT is not just using Google search, it's used in anywhere. And uh, let's see that we are going to implement BERT. I hope that you already opening my uh, GitHub repo under your hand. Uh, now, you look at this BERT with TensorFlow. If you like, I will open it in Kaggle. And if you want to open it in your local environment, it's okay, but it's depending on the data and many things in Kaggle. So let's look. Let me just open it in a new tab. Oh, 
Okay. So this is what I am going to implement. This is the, uh, the kernel. If you like to go with me, I'm going to take a copy from it. I'm going to, so, to show you how we are. You can copy and edit the notebook from your end. I hope you are walking through with me with the example. What we are going to implement is uh, implementing this bird on NLB task. Let's see the task. I have not shown you the task yet. So you know what is the task we are going to do. Let me show you the inputs. So this is natural language processing data set. Uh, we are going to predict disasters with tweets. So we're going to give labels. Uh, this is a sentimental analysis, uh, normal uh, task in natural language processing and the evaluation based on F1 score. So what I, we are going to do is that I'm going to implement BERT here with a very simple preprocessing. I'm not going to do very high preprocessing, not going to do very uh, uh, advanced architecting. I'm going to show, show you how, with the simple usage of BERT we're going to take a good result. Now, BERT, there is uh, many implementation. The most important implementation is by Hugging Face. Now, Hugging Face implemented BERT, GBT, and many kinds of transformers network. Uh, we are in this, in this uh, uh, case, we are going to do it with a TensorFlow. So I will show you the steps. The first thing that I want you to focus in on here is that we are going to import this transformers, which is from Hugging Face, and we are going to take TensorFlow O2 model and O2 tokenizer. This O2 tokenizer will take uh, uh, care of tokenizing the uh, word in the sentence and make it ready to the model. And with the TensorFlow O2 model, we are going to download and use the pre-trained uh, BERT, and then we're going to extend on it, add in any kind of layer and above of it. So. Um, just this is just a normal libraries and I am here just putting my seed so make sure that I'm getting same results I'm just running this part uh, now uh, what I'm doing that uh, uh, in, in Kaggle you can add a pre-trained or a libraries uh, from adding data here so you don't have to download it from the internet just like that if you downloading the weight in your PC and you giving the library location. So I am adding the BERT, the hugging face BERT uh, and, and, and uh, add it to, to this uh, kernel already. I'm just here defining the path for the training and test and the hugging face place. We are, I'm going to use hugging face BERT, the BERT large uncased. This is kind of uh, uh, the, the, to know what's the, the training model. If you open this, this is the pre-trained BERT model, and this and this is the name of them. There is one in Chinese and German, multi-language, cased and uncased, and there is also Arabic BERT in, in different kind, uh, in different implementation. Let's just complete the hit run. Simple reading for the data and showing the shape of it to know how much items we have, and I'm going just to show you the head that we are going to take this as the text, the tweet, and give the target that we know it. Now, this is very, very simple cleaning method. And as we know, in natural language processing, we need a lot of uh, cleaning. Now in this task, I will show you without a very, very handcrafted cleaning, you can get a good result. Of course, if you're improving this uh, cleaning method, like, uh, correcting the misspelled and removing uh, URLs and doing some kind that change, uh, converting the uh, emotion uh, image to its represented word will give you better result. But I'm going to show you just only BERT and how to use it. Now I'm just implementing the cleaning on the text the text from the train and test data frame. And this is a simple uh, method that I want to do is that I am going, when I define the tokenizer and feed it to it, I'm going to give it the 
value, which is the tweets. And I'm just to tell it that I want to bat it with the maximum length when something is uh, less than this maximum length, please bat it to me. And if it is bigger, uh, you can tranquate it. And also that uh, there is, uh, that the output that I want is that I want it to be a TensorFlow. Now I'm defining the model. This is in Keras, extending the Keras model uh, using the TensorFlow Auto model. Uh, this is the, the way that we just give it the name of the model that we wanted to download it. I am calling it checkpoint because I'm going to pass it when I call the class. And then I will flatten the output and defining symbol network. As you can see here, my network is consisting of linear one and the output. The linear one is this. 1024 and i have one output of sigmoid that will give me the sentimental or the class that i want uh, this is just the calculation of one of one score and this is the learning rate scheduler uh, so i'm going to print it to you if you will see here that uh, how the scheduler will work from a book to a book uh, we are going to show it here just once it's finished yes so we'll start and increasing and decreasing for each epoch you will see. So this kind of schedule, we need much more uh, larger epochs to get better training, but this data is small and we're going to overfit or take in none good result. And I don't want to engineer the architect of the model. I just want to show you how you work with the bird. Now, simply that the bird is, uh, can work from two, two steps. The auto tokenizer, we will give it the name of the uh, BERT model. So my name of the BERT is here that this is the input from local machine. If I want to use it uh, uh, outside uh, outside of uh, Kaggle and I want to use it and I want it to download uh, the model from hugging phase directly, I'm going just to do this. So. Here, by doing so, I am give it the location of the weights and configuration. This is give it the uh, name and it will download it from Hugging Face. The same apply to the model itself. This is our class, but this location will be passed to what? Will be passed to the auto model, which is here. So we'll pass the name here and it's if we give it the full directory, it will get the weights and configuration. And if we give it the only name and this names will take in from hugging face, uh, it will download it from there. So uh, let's, let's hit our run it. Uh, simply we adding our optimizer and calculating the F1 score. This is a binary cross entropy loss and just run this and combining the model. And once this finish, uh, we want to make some callbacks functions, uh, storing the, the best weight and make sure that if there is a problem, we're going to do early stopping. Now, when we hit this, it will uh, run the model and train it. And this, uh, by this, uh, just completing, uh, initializing and training a, a BERT model it will start learning and training here. And they just want to cons don't want to consume the time and move in to the next part. We'll leave this training and turn it off when we will work with the other, or you can train it by your own. Just make sure that it's run for you and me. Okay. So, of course, if you have any question, you can uh, put it down in, in, uh, uh, in the chat or write it down and wait for me when finishing the presentation and I will answer it for sure. Uh, I will stop this and you could leave your uh, model working. I'm just not want to consume the GPU.